As a library member, I can log into the app using my barcode number and PIN or password. If we tap the hamburger icon to slide out the account panel menu, the first option there is to sign into the app. The library member has a number of different options in terms of signing in. For instance, they can scan their barcode if they have a barcode membership card. Scanning the card will fill the borrower number field automatically, or they can simply type that in. Depending on the format of library accounts, this can either be limited to numbers or it can include letters to allow the user to sign in with a username or an alt ID. The PIN field can also be PIN number or password. We can see that the library has the ability to add additional text at the top and bottom of this display. In this case, we've added some text to the bottom of the display, prompting the user with their next steps if they aren't sure of their login details. This can also be a link to a web page providing further help that opens up when the user taps on the text. When I tap Login, my credentials are then verified against the library catalogue in real time using APIs, and my account is then loaded. You can see that there are a few tabs that have been configured on this app that are only visible once you have signed in. This includes self-check, and now that I've signed in, my barcode will appear as an option at the bottom of the screen. If I tap on my barcode, I can see my barcode displayed, and we automatically increase the brightness of the user's device to 100% to make that scanning process just a little bit easier on scanners. The patron barcode can be scanned by any optical 2D scanner from a mobile device, but it can't be read by 1D laser scanners. 1D scanners are the older style of scanner, and this is just down to the physics of how those scanners read barcodes. They read by bouncing a laser light off the light and dark portions of the barcode, and when a laser scanner attempts this on the glass display of a phone or tablet, all of that light is reflected back. 2D or optical style scanners have been common now for the last 7 or 8 years, so any newer self-check kiosks or staff stations would be configured with this type of scanner and will be able to read the barcode from the device. We support a wide range of barcode symbologies, be that Code 39, Code Bar, Telepen, Plessy, Interleaved 2 of 5 and others. When I close the barcode display, it returns my brightness back to the settings where it was before we opened it. If I tap on the barcode itself, my barcode number or username gets copied to the clipboard of the device, so I can easily enter it into the sites that don't support pass-through authentication.